If you are lucky enough to have teeth, then you are at risk of having tooth decay. No one is immune from tooth decay. Knowing what the risk factors are can help you identify why you have decay and also help you know what you can do about it. A dental cavity is also known as tooth decay, dental decay or dental caries. It is a permanently damaged area that develops into holes on the outer surface of the tooth called the enamel. Dental cavities usually start as something small but when they are left untreated they become bigger and cause much more extensive decay. Anyone can get a dental cavity whether you're a child, a teenager or an adult, provided there are teeth in the mouth, you can develop dental cavities. So what are the risk factors? There are numerous factors that can increase your risk of developing dental cavities. But one will be a diet that is high in refined carbohydrates, or what you call simple sugars. Consuming a diet that is high in simple sugars, like a sugary snacks and beverages, actually provides the bacteria in your mouth with enough fuel for their destructive activities. Because the bacteria is able to break down simple sugars so easily, the acid production is very quick and easy. Also, certain sugary snacks, like your candies, can actually stick to the surfaces of your teeth, thereby making them more prone to cavities. This happens especially at your posterior teeth, your back teeth, your molars, your premolars. If you look at the surfaces, they are not smooth. You have what we call pits and fissures. So your candies can actually get stuck there and a cavity can develop. The frequency of snacking is also very important. If you take a lot of snacks and sugary beverages very frequently, you end up providing the bacteria in your mouth with a lot of ammunition for their destructive activities. So they have a steady supply of sugar. They are able to produce a lot of acid, which one creates a cavity and also can cause what we call erosion of the enamel. Also, soda and high sugar juices, because they are acidic, they create a continuous acidic bath on your tooth, which can lead to erosion. Number two is poor oral hygiene. An effective tooth brushing and flossing routine actually helps to remove bacterial plaque from your teeth before they can cause cavities. Therefore, not brushing your teeth properly and regularly can lead to dental cavities. Flossing is also very important because flossing helps to take off any accumulated food particle or dental plaque that gets stuck in between your teeth. Your toothbrush can clean every other area, but in between your teeth is not possible with a toothbrush. So a dental floss actually helps to keep those areas clean so that you don't end up having dental cavities in such regions. Number three is tooth placement. Now, teeth that are harder to clean are much more prone to developing dental cavities. Most often, decay occurs more on the back teeth. These teeth have a lot of pits and fissures, which allows for the particles to get stuck within them. Also, for some teeth that are malaligned, that means teeth that are not correctly positioned, it can be difficult for your toothbrush to reach such teeth and create an effective clean. Number three, inadequate fluoride. Fluoride is a mineral that has been recognized for its ability to fight off decay and equally prevent dental caries. It's usually available in your mouthwashes and in your toothpaste. Fluoride has a cavity fighting ability, so the more frequently you use fluoride, the less likely you are to have dental cavities. Number four is dry mouth. Now, the saliva in our mouth actually has a cleansing action. It helps to remove food particles from our mouth, thereby helping to prevent dental cavities. An increase in the flow of saliva actually helps to neutralize the acidic environment created by the bacteria. Saliva also contains minerals that help in remineralizing the tooth. So with dry mouth, there is a reduction in the flow of saliva, which makes the teeth prone to dental cavities. Oral bacteria. Now it's been said, based on research, that there are over 700 species of bacteria in the human mouth. Wow, that's a lot. Of all of these bacteria, some are good and some are not so good. Now while we all have these bacteria in our mouth, some individuals have more of the cavity forming bacteria, which makes them more prone to developing dental cavities. Certain health conditions, gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as GERD, can cause the stomach acid to flow into the mouth, which is a reflux. This causes the wearing away of the tooth enamel because of the acid, and this can cause significant tooth damage. Over time, this can lead to dentin exposure, and because the dentin is not as hard as enamel, it is more prone to decay. Eating disorders like anorexia and bulimia nervosa can also lead to tooth erosion and decay. This is because the stomach acid from the repeated vomit actually washes over the teeth, dissolving the tooth enamel, and this can lead to erosion and decay. Worn down dental restorations and prosthesis. Dental fillings, crowns, and dental prosthesis actually help to restore the appearance and function of damaged teeth. But over time, they can weaken, break down, or become loose, and this can create areas where dental plaque and food particles can accumulate. 
Many of these restorations and appliances are not meant to last a lifetime. So it's important to visit your dentist to make sure they are still intact. And if they are not, they should be replaced. So how can we prevent tooth decay? Number one, be mindful of your diet. A diet high in refined carbohydrates is a huge risk factor. If you take a lot of candy and sticky foods, you need to limit them because they can stick to your teeth and cause dental cavities. If you take a lot of sugary beverages like soda and high fruit juices, you need to also limit them because as they are acidic, they can actually cause erosion of your teeth. Or if so, if you need to take them, try to take them with a straw. Number two, be proactive about your oral hygiene. Brush twice daily in the morning and at night, and floss at least once daily, especially at night. Brush with a fluoride containing toothpaste. Spend at least two minutes brushing. Don't be in a hurry. Make sure you reach every tooth to get an effective clean. Number three, keep up with dental checkups. Endeavor to visit the dentist at least every six months for checkups and dental cleaning. If you're at a higher risk of developing dental cavities, then let your checkups be every three to four months. That's one of the ways that dental cavities can be supported early on and addressed before they become worse. Number four, alert your dentist if you have any health issues that can increase your risk of developing dental cavities. So if you have dry mouth or any other systemic issues, you need to let your dentist know. If you have other systemic issues, you also need to be aware of them so that you can treat them accordingly. And finally, don't be afraid to ask for tips and advice that will help you protect your teeth. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer them. So we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, leave a comment and share this video with someone. And also subscribe so that I can get access to more videos and I'll see you in the next one.